He is called the Lion of Zion. A reference to his many years in the pulpit of Philadelphia's Zion Baptist Church. A reference too to one who reigns in God's kingdom. This OIC Center has been the place where now uh, thousands of Liberian young men and young women have been trained doing constructive work and jobs. You hear a lot about the problems in Liberia, but you don't hear what's being done constructively out of programs like this. And I'm just, I'm overjoyed. I mean, from a swamp to this, and thousands of young men and women being helped of a nation shows uh, what faith and hope in God and hard work and self-help can do. It is a fitting metaphor for the Reverend Leon Sullivan, whose roar echoes from the mountains of West Virginia to the villages of Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you a leader among leaders, a true international leader, the Reverend Dr. Leon Howard Sullivan. A towering figure in America's civil rights movement, Sullivan has spent his life stalking his twin foes, injustice and oppression. Today we express our inexpressible appreciation to Secretary General Kofi Annan for permitting the announcement of the Global Sullivan Principles of Corporate Social Responsibility to be made at this special gathering at the United Nations. But Sullivan is a man who fights without bloodshed, whose territory is not bound by church walls or the barriers that divide races or nations. He says his ministry is to lift the downtrodden, to help those who have no clothes, who have no jobs, who have little hope. He has carried that calling into the boardrooms of international corporations, and his principles of equal opportunity helped free a nation. I want you to work together and love each other and help each other, and it'll spread all over West Virginia and one day all over the world. The story of Leon Sullivan is a remarkable tale of faith and perseverance about a man who took a stand against injustice and oppression at an early age and has been standing on principle ever since. Was blind, but now I see. On March 1st, 1971, at 8 o'clock in the morning, Leon Sullivan, a minister from Zion Baptist Church in Philadelphia, walked into the corporate headquarters of General Motors in New York City to take a seat on the board of directors, the first African-American in the history of the United States to serve on the board of any major international company. 